I want to play this tape. This is the president just a moment ago mentioning this network, MSNBC. Here it is. I want to talk about some stuff that, that, uh, that creates some controversy because it's important. And one of those policies right now that I'm focused on is new trade agreements with other countries. And if you were watching MSNBC and all this stuff and you're thinking, oh, man, well, you know, I love Obama, but what's going on here? <laughs> So, so I, so I want to, I want to, I want to set the record straight here. I want everybody to be clear about what we're doing because I believe in what I'm doing here. Well, Mr. President, I want you to know that I believe in what I'm doing, and if you can prove to the American people that there will not be a depression of wages, if you can prove to the American people that this will create jobs. If you want to go face to face with me, President Obama, I'm ready to go because I have the facts. Okay, hey, Ed, Ed, and I also you should, you should be go very ahead, proud. Sir. You should be very proud. I think he is talking about you, and I'll tell you why. Because as I said on the floor of the Senate yesterday, to the best of my knowledge, ABC, CBS, and NBC, and CNN, to the best of my knowledge, have not discussed the largest trade agreement in the history of the United States of America. And we might want to ask why that is the case. Well, uh, you know, why would President Obama use the MSNBC call letters? Uh, it's been shown by Media Matters that this show has covered the right. TPP more than anybody else. So I would imagine that he's talking about the Ed show. But the president has never done a sit down interview with Ed Schultz. And hey, you know, my life is fine. But you know what? On this deal, the president's wrong and I'm right. The president is telling the American people that every union in this country is wrong. And I can tell you that every union in this country has been around longer than President Obama when it comes to trade deals and having to live with them. And this not is just unions, out. Ed, not just unions. Yeah. You got many, yeah. many environmental, cons environmental organizations that have deep concerns with this agreement as well. Okay. Senator Bernie Sanders, I'm sorry to interrupt the interview. That's I appreciate okay. your, how, courtesy you, uh, how courteous you were in, in allowing us to do that, but we wanted to take the president Good. live. Good. Thanks okay. so much, Senator. Appreciate it. Thank president you. Obama, a word from this broadcaster to you. I will put my credibility up against any broadcaster in this country. I supported you big time. I was the first liberal talker to support you. I've carried your water big time when it comes to health care. I've carried your water on the economy and defending your move on the automobile industry. But Mr. President, you can take shots at this network, but I guarantee you, you are wrong on this and you cannot prove to the American people. This is not about generic talk that we have to think about the global economy and the cats out of the bag and everything else. American workers will suffer if this deal goes through. And Mr. President, your recovery of the economy, the automobile industry and health care will not be your legacy. It will be what you're doing to the very people who put you in office. Had you had not had the unions, you'd have never beat John McCain. Had you had not had the unions, you'd have never beat Mitt Romney. And now you're turning your back on these people trying to convince them that they got to do this phony trade deal that's going to ship jobs overseas. I'd love to talk to you face to face, Mr. President. We're back with more on The Ed Show. Keep it right here. You are watching MSNBC.